we're going to look at implementing the following solution to the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x squared plus y squared with the initial condition that when x is 0 y is 0 0.5 and we're going to have a step size of 0.1 and we're going to program this into Excel and we're also going to graph our results as well so firstly we open up Excel and I'm going to create three cells, one's going to be my starting x value, one's going to be my starting y value and I'm going to have my step size which is h. So my step size was 0 0.1, my starting y value is 0 and the x value I've got is also is 0. Well my step, my initial y value is 0 0.5. I'm going to have a xn column which tells me what the x value is at the step n. I'm going to have a yn column which tells me what yn is at step n. I'm then going to have an xn plus 1 column. I'm going to have what the value of the function is at step n and I'm going to have what yn plus 1 is equal to so that's yn plus h times f of xn ym. So I'm just going to make that column wide enough. So to make it clear, let's just make that yellow. So my initial, so that I can actually keep this fresh and change just these values up here, I'm going to ensure that these cells down here are written in terms of these initial conditions up here. So the first x value I'm going to have is going to be what the value of the cell B1 is. The first y value I'm going to have is the value of the cell B2. To work out what xn plus 1 is, that's the value that we've got for this cell here plus h. Now I'm going to copy this formula down into the cells below and to ensure that this B3 keeps on referring to this B3 cell I'm going to put dollar signs around it. 2 isn't entirely necessary but it saves us from actually having to remember everything. Then we need to work out what F is. Well F was X squared plus Y squared so it's that cell squared, the X value squared plus that cell squared, the Y value squared. And then the first iterate of the Euler method is going to be the value we've got for y plus h and again because I'm going to copy the formula I'm going to put in the dollar sign so I get an absolute cell reference so it's h multiplied by the value we have for f. Hit return and that gives me my next y value. Now I want to actually work out the well I want to be able to work out the value of the function at when x is equal to 1 so now I need to do the next step. So the value that goes in there is the x value we've just worked out and the y value we've just worked out. Now because I put in formulae along here I can just copy that down and I immediately get the next y value. And In fact I can now select that entire line and because of the way I've programmed the formulae, I can just copy things down, one more, and I know when xn is 1, yn is equal to 1.344662. Be very careful to make sure that you actually know that xn is 1, and that gives you the value of the approximation at that particular point. Now we can also graph the function if I select that, those two columns there, go to the graph chart wizard and if I select scatter graph, scatter with dots connected by lines without markers, there's the preview, I can finish it and that gives me the value, values all plotted along a graph here. I can also change the chart options so that I know I'm plotting xn against ym. And there we go, 
that's the approximation to the solution of the equation.